impressive. Hello seasteaders! Today we're going to be talking about a small water line area twin hull vessel otherwise known as a swath. Um, why a swath? Well we we learned while we were out on the seastead in the middle of the ocean um, one thing that most people don't think about is how the heck do you get out there and park your boat. I mean the house is set up perfectly it's on a spar and the waves don't affect the house. Um, it's great great solution but uh, when we were out there we had our sailboat and to park it in like two major waves you just boats are not meant for sitting still out in the middle of the ocean um, it's just bouncing back and forth uh, we would never leave the yeah at night we would always have one person sleep on the sailboat because uh, you know, if the thing comes untethered due to all the force, uh, then the thing floats away and you know, nobody's in control of it unless we're stranded out there. So what uh, Rudy, our engineer, came up with was the swath, which um, it sits smoothly in the waves, it rides smoothly in the waves. Um, we're not talking about north see you know five meter ten meter waves um, these are perfect for low waves um, ideal for the the two meter wave conditions that we are looking at uh, two, two meter max so this would allow you to pull right up to your home um, smoothly you can just walk right from the swath onto your your deck of your house um, we we call it the uh, the Friedman index where a one is there you go the top 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 quality where um, you can go to the theater in your business suit your tuxedo and your wife in her luxury dress and uh, not have to, to worry about jumping on a boat swimming in the water or getting in a dinghy all that type of stuff uh, we consider like a Mercedes-Benz as a 0.92 in the Friedman Index, whereas uh, Nadia and I were at a 0.1 in our venture trying to get into our home. So with this one, we are hoping to get that up there. Um, the the more easy we make it from somebody to just go from their home to uh, the theater to the store or whatever uh, without really knowing caring too much that they're actually in the ocean uh, that is that is our goal here so with that I will take you through how we created our uh, 1 8 scale prototype so here we are creating uh, a, we use our one of our 3d printers to print out the what's called the plug. Um, this is a smaller of our large 3D printer. Um, so we print these out. Um, it's, it's a plug for the swath. Just a simple plastic um, plug-in. Then we take the plug and we cover it with fiberglass. Um, all just very simple, simple fiberglass. It's a prototype, so nothing too fancy woven or anything. So this creates the mold. So we pull the plug out of the mold. Uh, we'll be doing similar things for building our homes. So now we have the mold, which uh, then gets filled with uh, the wax and then filled in with 
fiberglass to create the actual final final product. So we create two sides of this part and then uh, we take this plug mold as well and then we fill it with fiberglass which gives us the final result. And here's the the swath, the 1 8 prototype which we test out in my pool with several people. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it folds, folds perfectly. Had to do some adjustments on the balance. Put it there. I'll balance the board a little bit. So let's straighten the water and then we can see how it goes. How sensitive it is to waves. Not yet, but we balance that first. <laughs> goes with a nice little push smooth ride let's give it a little bit more so I'd encourage you to go on YouTube and look at the swath vessel um, I'd add video but I wasn't sure of the copyrights on any of the videos but uh, You'll see that the swath vessel just dry, rides smoothly in the ocean compared to the amount of holes. And that's the key. Uh, we, we would be able to park these out by your home. I would be one person. Pretty good. Put them on one side. It's more stable than I think. I think we can we can probably put them, make them even narrower. What if we, if we put it on here? Oopsie! So two passengers sitting on. Don't stand there. One of the outriggers is not good. But that is pretty pretty good. That's a scale of one to eight. So this corresponds to a 90 kilogram person. I would think that that looks pretty stable. You can even compare that with a numerical model and then uh, we think about making these uh, pylons a little bit uh, thinner. Reducing resistance. And right now we're looking at uh, yeah personal vehicles uh, for you just getting around uh, instead of like a dinghy. Uh, you can ride your swath around. It's much faster, more fuel efficient. Um, this small water line area uh, makes it so it's a smoother and more efficient. It's a bad storm, big waves, just sits there. And there you have it. Um, 
thank you for watching. Uh, we hope to build something bigger, put this, uh, put some motors on this, and actually, well, get a full-scale model, um, put some motors on it, and do some testing. Um, it's in addition to building our homes, so uh, look forward to great things. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe on YouTube, uh, subscribe on, on library.